So van life isn't always perfect. The one moment you're cooking, another moment. It's raining. <laughs> and the cook, uh, the food is getting clean by itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, if it stays raining, then we bought chips today. So I guess then we're gonna have it for breakfast. <laughs> At least we have the nice view. It is getting too late to cook. It has stopped raining, but it's getting dark. So gonna eat a bag of chips, watch a movie, which is gonna be close. Good morning! It is beautiful weather today and now we're cooking our dinner in the morning and uh, yeah and it is ready doesn't that look awesome I think so We are on our way to Ishkoman. The Ishkoman Valley separates the Himalayas from the Karakoram Ridge. I don't know how the actual valley will look like, but the drive is very nice. This road is definitely worth driving. Now we're going slowly on our way to Gilgit. So why am I driving in a Suzuki Balan and not a 4x4 Jeep? Uh, there's actually two reasons. One, I want to uh, show that you don't need a 4x4 to travel in northern areas like everybody can do it with any car um, except except a, f a few roads maybe but the, the majority like the whole loop i do everybody can do also the other reason is this car cost me 1250 rupees per day um, which is which is very doable. I mean, if I would rent a, um, a Toyota Prado, it would cost between five and seven thousand a day or more. I cannot afford that. So uh, yeah. Uh, plus, I like this car. 
I sometimes get the question, do I drive with a police escort? And I am not. I am never driving with a police escort um, because Pakistan is safe and you are not obligated to have a police escort anywhere in the northern areas that I have traveled. We are in Gakuch making some food. This is my windscreen setup, and today we're having cucumber and peppers and tomatoes and garlic. Chicken! <laughs> we just entered Gilgit and I'm stopping for some chicken and french fries. I'm gonna make Yip and my dog really happy with chicken. <laughs> I have my vegetables already today. So now I can eat some greasy chips. We just arrived in Gilgit at a hotel and look at this grass field. My dog will be so happy. Usually when I do van life, I do like two days van life, one day in a hotel, it kind of depends on the area. But what I really, really like about van life is, well, first of all, of course, parking in the middle of nowhere, listening to the sounds and just camping there. Uh, but also when I get to a city, sometimes there's just no decent priced hotels and at least it gives me the opportunity that if I cannot find a decent priced hotel that I can sleep in a car. So, yeah. By the way, this place uh, room is 1,500 rupees. This is how my life in a hotel room looks like. Everything is charging. I do have a little inverter in the car. I can use that too. Um, and I often get the question, what is my favorite street food? And it is this, yeah, it is um, chickpeas, potatoes, and vegetables. Awesome. Bread, justice. We're having uh, Pakistan breakfast. At least they call it Pakistan breakfast. Paratha and egg. It's kind of a luxury egg, actually. Normally when I eat. Uh, bread, it's more like a uh, normal egg, but it looks nice. Are you gonna put this on YouTube? How is it? Yeah. It's really good, thanks. <laughs> and we have more foreigners here, hello! Hey. And we are going to? Somewhere near the Chinese border, but not quite sure where. Yeah, <laughs> just on the way to the China border, and we'll see where we go first. Let's go! Welcome to the Karakoram Highway, the world's most dangerous highway with our off-road heavy-duty camper van.